going on, YouTube? Right, too close to my face. But anyway, I'm at this property here. About to take some live footage of me cutting grass. And the reason why I'm doing that is because, let me get this off. I, for one, I took the door off the um, trailer here because I'm about to. One second. Oh. Took the door off the uh, trailer here, about to redo it. But anyway, the reason why I'm going to take live footage is because we did a new addition to, to the lawn care. Yes, I switched back to John Deere, which was my first, first uh, mowers that I worked, worked with, worked with. Before I even had a riding mower, I had a John Deere uh, push mower. Not this is almost this is almost looked like a John Deere, but it, it's not this. It was the same color, same style, but it was made by John Deere. Not even sure if John Deere made uh, residential push mowers anymore. I think they just do commercial now. But I used to have a, uh, a uh, residential push mower that was given to me by my uh, my great auntie. God rest her soul. God rest her soul. But uh, now, back to this. Yes, I still have my uh, Toro Z turn. I'm just gonna use that as a backup now because y'all know I got debt issues. So, you know, and plus uh, this uh, uh, commercial lawn care, uh, you know, uh, I guess you say retailer, they put it together for Lowe's. So, like, they partnership with Lowe's. So, this is on a warranty for like three years, so like any issues, like broken spindles and belts and everything else, all I gotta do is just take it there and if it's for free, uh, after it says after the fifth or so repair within like three years, they'll replace it with another one or a better one, free of charge, don't have to pay no extra or nothing, you know, because they fought really, I guess. But anywho, let's sit right here. This is uh, John Deere Z uh, Z 335E residential uh, Z turn or whatever. But uh, it's a uh, 20 horsepower. Let's see if y'all can see that it's upside down. But this is a uh, 20 horsepower. Let me flip it around so y'all can see it. It ain't gonna flip around. But uh, it's 20 horsepower. Uh, V20 uh, engine. The engine is by. I have no idea because it don't say up there. I'm thinking it's by Briggs because the way the model is set up, it looks like a Briggs engine. So I'm thinking it's by Briggs. You know, Briggs and uh, uh, what is it, Stratton engine? I don't think it's a Corio because uh, Corios don't really look like this. Yep. But anywho, got that. I'm gonna put my Tim and Lawn Care logo up there because the main reason why I wanted it is because it matched my my logo, my color setup, you know, or uh, my color setup is you know green and yellow. Plus it got a little bit of red and black and all this stuff in it too. But that's the reason why I switched on this. I'm um, thinking about getting a uh, Tim and Lawn Care cover and putting some stickers somewhere and everything else like that. But uh, yeah, it's pretty fast. And I think it, it might be faster than. Uh, then, uh, then my Toro, uh, it's a, uh, two blade, two blades on it, so, uh, two bit blades, it's a 44, inch, but 42 inch, but you know my Toro, that's a 44 inch, so, uh, this is, uh, it's about the same size as my Toro, it's just shorter, cause my Toro sit, sits higher, this just sit lower, and plus, you know, I got the armrest. So I'm thinking about getting probably another chair with armrests on it. Even though I don't really use the armrests, but I like the armrests sometimes. But um, yeah, it got a little uh, gas light thing right here. Right here that uh, comes on, you know, orange or red, whatever color it is, to let me know that, look, I need gas. I already got an auto meter on it. And uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, well, you can't really see hours on it. Uh, they got 
zero point two hours on it, which means that it was just test drive hours, really. But um, yeah, that's that right there. So, like I said, I'm gonna do live footage of me cutting with this. So, stay tuned.
final results I had to blow off the parking lot. A lot of grass up there because the wind is blowing, as you can see from the flag waving. Yeah, like I said, you know where we at. <laughs> um, did a pretty good job, you know. Um, one issue that I do have with the more that I got to take to the dealer is that um, raising and lowering the deck. You know, it's kind of like stuck on the uh, the uh, piece that keep the deck up. Not talking about the uh, height adjuster. It's like a little hook, I guess you can say, that uh, uh, that rests the deck up, you know, and um, I can't get it off of that. So, got to take it to the uh, dealer and have them, uh, have them uh, adjust it, bend it back or something, cut it off something, you know. I don't think it really needs to be up there for real, for real. But, uh, yep. Yep. Pretty bang up job. Not much to do. I ain't really had to weed eat it. We eat nothing either. Because, you know. The more it took, it took care of a lot. You know. But anyway, uh, also, another reason why I wanted to get that, not only because I want to use that as my primary, or, but also, you know, my Toro, being that I had to put the deck up there and belts was popping left and right, man. Say, I probably spent close to like, close to like, uh, at least $100, almost $200 on belts for that thing because they kept popping. Even when I was cutting, I had to cut at a real, 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 real low speed. Real low speed for to get a, a good cut without the belt popping. Because I couldn't put it on a high speed. Because as soon as I put it on a high speed, it wears the belt, belt up like that and pop. So I had to do it on a low speed. And even then, a couple of belts was popping. And uh, the belts for that is expensive. Especially if I go to the dealership, because uh, the dealership that I went to, not where the John Deere dealership is, the John Deere dealership is cheaper than the actual Toro dealership. Belts is like $36 for just the the deck belt, you know. And that, that was the one that kept popping. And also, I put a new spring on it, but it's still the, uh, what they call it, the, the one spindle wheel, whatever, out of wheel, kept wobbling, even then, at a low speed, so I had to get that, you know, because even on some yards where the grass is real thick, and uh, the belts was like slip off, and then I had to stop, get out of there, and adjust the deck in order to put the belt back on, and then it was just, it was just too much, and they say I could just keep going, and like I said, if ever this should go into the shop and they don't uh, give me a loaner, then I just use the Toro as a backup that hopefully no time soon. Uh, or at least if I do get uh, bigger properties and I also upgrade to a bigger trailer, I just have both of those up there. Both of those uh, Z-turns up there. Yep, but anyway... Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace.